this is probably going to be quite a hot take and it's going to sound a little bit far-fetched but run with me here yeah i'm ready i genuinely conceived this film to be the idea of like wes anderson basically creating a film within a film right it, it it's it's the documentary that they make runs in tandem with the actual film and it shares the same name and it's the same font the camera is always rolling the camera is always there bill murray is just constantly obsessed with controlling what happens in the film right he's obsessed with making sure he gets tender moments on camera re-recording lines all of these different things and that's generally why the film bounces a lot tonally yeah but i think the main bit for me that made me start to think about this was when that tracking shot happens through the ship when they're chasing each other through the ship and arguing he deliberately chooses to show the entire ship and that it isn't real and that they're on sound stage and that the bella fonte and the film is superficial and i think it, what you're seeing is no more real than what the documentary is it's just a perspective that wes controls just like steve controls the perspective yeah and i think that wes's name is so synonymous with a style that he just can't shift and he's so aware because i've seen him talking about in interviews how aware he is that people associate a particular style with him you know the bright colors and the outfits and the cinematography and all of that and i think like you're seeing that when you see zisu's name is plastered on everything yeah yeah everything is so tailored the outfits are tailored it's it really feels to me like it's this hyper aware take on what it is to actually make a film as wes anderson interesting when it gets to the end and you see the jaguar shark it it represents everything to me that embodies wes anderson's style you know it's this rare unique fish blah 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 and it literally is, you see all of the characters sat round in what essentially it looks like a theatre. And it cuts and you see the screen of the ship and it's framed as if it was a cinema screen with all black. And you see the Jaguar shark come towards them. And Bill Murray just decides to let it be. He just decides that he was going to destroy it and he was going after it and he was trying to get control over it. But in the end, he just decides that it's beautiful for what it is. And I think that it's really Wes coming to terms with what a Wes Anderson film is. 